The Samsung Galaxy S4 is now available for pre-order. LG teases a new event to happen on May 1st, and Samsung is under investigation for steering comments against HTC. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you think that Samsung is the only company that hires paid chills, you're in for a surprise. This is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, LG has just sent out press invitations for an event to happen on May 1st for a device that they're not specifying, as always, everybody does this, but the point being is that we know that the LG Optimus G Pro is most likely the next device from LG to land on the United States, so stay tuned, the Optimus G was a good phone, and the Optimus G Pro proved to be a good phone as well in our review. Now let's talk about the iPhone 5S. Rumors have Apple bringing a 12 megapixel camera to their next generation device, and you already knew that. But the interesting news is that apparently Apple will invest on better low light performance and also HDR video to come to the camera. And you're like, wait a second, I've heard that on the Xperia Z and the Xperia ZL, right? Well, the reason why is because Apple uses Sony sensors for their cameras. And speaking of iPhone, those of you that were waiting for Facebook Home to come to iOS, well, you're getting a sort of update that won't bring that experience, but you aren't really missing out on much anyways. But the point being is this new version 6.0 actually brings the new Facebook layout that'll come to the desktop soon. Interesting, it's not available for Android just yet, but another interesting point is that you do get the chat heads, but well, as long as you're within the Facebook app, because everybody that uses iOS products can't win at all. And for those of you gearing up for the Samsung Galaxy S4, it now is available on pre-order on AT&T to ship on April 30th. And guess what? You also get it on US Cellular, but you're not getting it yet on T-Mobile or Verizon. And there's no word on Sprint. Apparently, these carriers will bring this device eventually. But again, just pre-order the device now as it'll most likely sell out very soon. And finally, for the disturbing news of the day, the Taiwanese Fair Trades Commission is now investigating Samsung over some leaked documents. Apparently, the company has been hiring students to post negative comments of the HTC One in favor of the Galaxy S4 in social media and even on commenting systems and websites. Samsung could probably be facing an $800,000 fine, but don't you believe this fine should be a little higher if you measure the impact? And that leads me to the question of the day. How do you feel about these companies hiring paid chills to promote their products? This is not the first time this has happened. We can mention probably when Windows Phone 7 was launched. We heard a lot of these comments that weren't real of these people saying that they couldn't wait for Windows Phone 7 to launch. And if these comments were all real, Windows Phone 7 would have sold a lot more than it really did. So it's really disturbing. It's a terrible practice. Leave us a comment down below. How do you feel? The HTC One is a great smartphone for the record. And if you read any negative comments about it, I suggest you give it a try first. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera, and as always, thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.